Yo, what's up guys? It's Rob and today we're going to be unboxing the Hadi S Universe. This is like the Hadi S Stardust but a different colorway or uh, artwork I guess you could say. It has a very beautiful theme as you can see on the box and well uh, as you can already tell this box is pretty beautiful. So let's get right into it. Time for some ASMR action while removing this. I love removing this so much it's very very satisfying and I'm sure a lot of other people think that this is very satisfying as well to remove but anyways huge shout out to Vessel Gaming and G Wolves for sending this out to me I really really appreciate it their Twitter links will be down in the description so definitely check them out and let's just get right into it this mouse just looks extremely beautiful I cannot wait to have my hands on it. Oh, we got some more packaging stuff. It seems to be in some sort of bag. Okay, very nice. I really like the packaging of G Wolves. They always do such a great job. It always looks really nice. Oh, first, let's take a look at this. So, here we have the uh, mouse scripts. I'll put the grips over here. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, what is in here? Is this the mouse feet? Ah, okay, I see. Is there anything else in there? Uh, nope. Not that I can see. So we got kind of like a user manual. <laughs> Wait, what? What is this? I've never seen this before. <laughs> I guess don't wrap the cable around your neck. Don't eat the cable. Don't drop it and don't spill any liquids on it. Jesus. Pretty obvious not to do that. Um, an extra set of mouse feet, which is always nice, of course. Ooh, some extra switches, which is also always nice. And here we have the mouse. Let's get rid of these uh, small little bag. Oh man, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. This mouse is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So we have the cable, of course, uh, micro USB. And there has been a lot of confusion from people uh, thinking that this isn't a newer batch of the Hot ES, but it is a newer batch of the Hot ES. It just doesn't come with the kale switches like the other red version but this is still an updated version of the hot ES so it will come with uh, many quality control fixes and all that stuff so just definitely keep in mind this still has the Omron switches but it is part of the new batch so let's see nice the clicks feel Great, of course, nice and crispy, and it doesn't seem like I really get any side play unless I like try it. Well, no, it's very, very minimal, which is awesome. That was one of the issues I had with the Hot ES. If you guys didn't know, I did review the Hot ES origin originally when it uh, came out, but yeah, when I was using the original Hot ES, the Stardust was the one that I had. It did have a decent amount of side play, and it seems like they've fixed it, which is very very awesome and also I did have a bit of rattle when I would shake the mouse and I do not have or I don't get any rattle when shaking this mouse which is also awesome it's very nice to see that they have fixed those issues from the past and it just definitely makes the mouse so so much better and also another issue that I had with the original Hot ES that I got was that my mouse feet were pretty scratchy but with these mouse feet seem to be perfectly fine I don't get any scratchiness and this and the glide feels pretty smooth which is always awesome. This was already a top mouse especially for people who use fingertip grip because this is definitely one of the best mice for fingertip grip and the colorway or artwork that you get is very beautiful. And also the build quality of this mouse or structural integrity is very very nice. I just get very minimal flex on the bottom of the mouse when stress testing but it's the bottom of the mouse and it's very minimal so it really isn't a big deal. Even though it is very small and has a ton of holes, I still get no flex anywhere else which is pretty insane. 
The coding of the mouse still feels great, and I'm sure the mouse grips will feel great as well. I did use the mouse grips on my original Stardust HDS, and they were really good. I'm pretty sure these will be the exact same. Yes, they are. These feel really nice and are pretty grippy, which is awesome, but there really isn't anything wrong with the coating. And I honestly wouldn't really want to cover this artwork because it just looks very, very nice. Also, it does kind of seem like they updated the cable and made it just a tad bit more flexible. It is still pretty stiff. All right, let's see what we have under here, if we have anything. And let's see, we get the brush, of course. Cannot go wrong with that. And it is the extra cable, which is awesome. Nice. So this is pretty much everything that comes with the mouse. I've always liked G-Wolves' packaging. Definitely one of the best. And this mouse is such beautiful eye candy. I have no idea when it will be in stock. So I really have no clue how much this will cost. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching the video. It's really nice to see that they have fixed some quality control issues with the new batches of the Hot ES. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.